culture. So, you know, you talk about some assessment tools and, and historically, I mean, we've even talked before that the numeric rating scale might not be so helpful for your patients with chronic pain. But I like the numeric rating scale when I ask patients, okay, tell me about your all day long pain and tell me about your breakthrough pain. One of the pharma companies dropped off a, a quick uh, little index card with the, with the two scales on it, one for the all day long pain and one for the around the clock, uh, for the breakthrough pain. And it really has helped me over the years to assess patients using the numeric scale, comparing what is their all day long pain to what is their breakthrough pain. But, but uh, Jeff, you, know, you, you kind of don't want to be very careful no, in, in your analysis to know, well, is this, is this breakthrough pain occurring at the end of a person's dose when they're about to take their next drug? Is this pain spiking idiosyncratically, idiopathically, for no apparent reason, uh, which is, of course, less predictable? Or is that pain spiking because they're now act more active than ever before and being positive and, and they're gardening? And in order to um, accomplish that, they know they're going to get a breakthrough episode above and beyond their baseline pain, which is controlled if they're gardening, going to physical therapy, maybe exercising. So, you know, it's important to use those tools in the context of how is that person's function being impacted. That's a great point, Charles. It just, it just teaches us that there are different kinds of breakthrough pain. And Charles mentions the end of dose failure. You know, they're long-acting analgesic wearing off, uh, spontaneous types of pain, and then uh, mechanistically exacerbations of pain with intentions or with, with activities. And one more thing I just want to mention is, you know, for these patients, there's such a different, you know, niche group because they've been exposed to, you know, significant radiation. They have neuropathic issues from chemotherapy. It's just very important to understand that there's many different types of presentations that could mimic, you know, chronic acute breakthrough. So it's, it's, it's a different type of treatment approach to cancer patients versus your non-cancer patient population. So let's talk about those presentations.